Okay, video attempt number two. So this is the biggest, longest, and heaviest, and probably one of the more awkward things that we've towed since we bought this truck exactly a year ago today. <clears throat> My truck is about 38 feet, roughly. 35 to 38. The truck we're towing is about the same. It's a bucket truck, obviously, so it's super heavy. Four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive. So we got it chained up, picked up. <clears throat> so not only is it big and heavy going down the road and tall, we're just under 14 feet, 13.6 or something like that. So apparently the truck has been underbuilt. <clears throat> This side's not so bad, but there's the Hendrickson suspension, and you can make out the brake right there in the springs. They've been broke a long time. There's a there's a brake right in the middle, which is the main supports front and back, and they're walking. There's a good look at how tall it is. You can see the light pole there. We're <clears throat> it's kind of hard to judge it, but a little over 13. Then on this side, we got the axle chained front to rear, left to right. And the reason for it is this spring completely came apart. You can see the dry spot in it where it's folded up even more since we towed it. And it's broke back there too. And it's broke in the middle. So we're chained up every way that we can chain it. And it still goes down the highway sideways. <clears throat> so we come around a corner, it swaps lanes to the other side. We gotta slow down and wait for it to come back. It's rear steer now. All the way here, and then as we're backing up, it decided it was going to start steering the other way. So we're going to leave it hooked up. We're even going to leave the chains on it for them so they can try to get it inside here at Freightliner later on. Anyways, you guys asked me for some more videos. There you go. Big Zach lift at work. The long stretch looking out the mirror. Biggest, heaviest, tallest since we've owned the truck. <clears throat>